Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm excited to be sharing with you a new project, as if I need any more new projects in my life. But uh, I was looking through Pinterest, which I do almost every evening. I just love seeing people's ideas and projects and DIYs. And sometimes I find some really fun products that I can use to document my life. And this notebook, I came across it. It is from Mochi, uh, Mochi Things. And it's around eight by five and a half, or the, the pages are around eight by five and a half. And I really wanted to try it out because it is kind of like a scrapbooking notebook, totally different than what I'm used to. And I wanted to try something new. I'm always working in a project life or a TN and my Archer and Olives. So I gave it a try and I have to say I have fallen in love. I have found a new passion, which is not new to me because I'm always finding new obsessions. But I wanted to share with you a few of the pro like the layouts that I've already created in this notebook and how it works um, and what I like and don't like about it and how I'm making it work for myself. So the notebook, I'm gonna share with you first the pages. So this is how the notebook looks from the inside. It's kind of, it has little boxes. It's all the same color. So it has that bluish background and each page is slightly different. So as you can see, like there's three large uh, boxes here or they're vertical and then a few of the square but it's a little bit slightly different on the opposite side which I learned later uh, after I printed my photos but it's okay and um, I'm really liking the style because once I share with you my layouts it will make more sense I have space to add photos I have space to journal and stamp I'm gonna keep this flat as flat as possible but I'm not going to be adding like, you know, paper or anything like that. I just thought it would be fun to try something new. And I really like how this notebook is keeping things cohesive and simple and easy to put together. Now, the one thing I did not like about this notebook on the website is said 160 GSM. This is not 160 GSM. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I checked again. And it said 160 GSM. This is very thin paper and you will get bleed through uh, if you use certain types of inks. But I do use uh, the Color Theory ink from Studio Calico in my planner and on thin paper because it just ghosts. It never bleeds through. And I'm okay with ghosting as long as it's, there's no bleed through. I don't like bleed through on my pages. But I usually use that ink to stamp on paper that's pretty thin. Uh, so that was kind of a surprise for me because I really thought I was getting thicker paper. Again, not a big deal. I figured a way around it. So let's get into it. Basically, this is the notebook and that's the cover. I might add something to the cover. Uh, I didn't want to do that before I shared it with you so you can kind of get an idea of how this notebook looks like. And that's the first page. Again, not sure about the first page there. Um, might change it up. But anyways, like I said, it's more of the project than how the notebook looks like. And by the way, the cover is really, really thick. So let's get to it. This is my first page. And this is what I love about this notebook. The boxes really helped me figure out where I want to add things without overthinking things, if that makes sense. And I used my stamps loads. You guys know how much I love using my stamps. So I basically measured the boxes. So I purposely printed my photos slightly smaller than the boxes because I wanted that white border and I wanted more space to stamp. The whole purpose of this notebook is to make it look uh, beautiful, scrapbooking-like, and have some space to stamp. So I have decided to add some photos, but also leave some boxes free for me to add a title, journaling, stickers, stamping, whatever the case is. 
Uh, for the spread, I went ahead and printed three photos. Again, I measured everything and I used some of my wilderness stamp sets from the paper person shop. I added my title in one of the boxes. The great part about this is there's space for you to add the dates you can see up here. So there's this little box here where you can stamp out the date. I used my stickers and I used this space to journal. These stickers, by the way, I love them. I've been hoarding them forever, but this was the perfect spread to add them in there. And I'm just keeping it very, very simple. Love it, new obsession. So this next one here is all about spring. So again, I printed some photos, stamped. I use some of my older die cuts, which I love doing and having space to use up your stash is perfect. And you can keep this as simple as possible. Like I kept it really simple. Basically it's more stamp heavy than anything. And I sprinkled in some stickers. And again, because I don't wanna add a lot of bulk to my pages because this is a spiral notebook and it's not gonna be able to take up a lot of the bulk. So I'm trying really hard not to use paper, which is okay with me because I'm not a paper hoarder anyway, so I don't have a lot of paper, but I really wanted to use my stickers, my die cuts, and my stamps. So I found that this notebook is perfect for that. I've even uh, went ahead and printed photos. Like if I have photos that I'm excited to document, I went ahead, printed them out, and I'm just using this little clip to hold them in place so I remember which page I measured for my photos. Again, because the pages are slightly different, I think it's kind of, it repeats itself every few pages. I'm not sure. I didn't really check, but I'm in love, and I wanted to share with you how I put these spreads together, and hopefully I can share more as I work in this. I really want to do like a whole year in one notebook. That would be loads of fun. And I'm not going to say this is going to take over my TNs. I still love my TNs and I still want to work in my TNs. But I think this is going to be fun to document like a day in your life, a week in your life, um, a moment, a special moment, seasons, all that good stuff in one notebook. So Let's get to it. That was a lot of talking about a notebook. I wanna share with you how I put one of these spreads together, how quick and easy it is, and how fun it is, you guys. So let's get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and start documenting my third page in this adorable notebook. Okay, you guys, let's start working on my first spread. I'm gonna be documenting breakfast at my mom's. I love going to my mom's to have breakfast. I try to go at least once a week. And I have a few photos of some of the uh, breakfast uh, food that I've had at mom's. And I think I have a photo of my mom and dad while we're eating breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead, stick down my photos, and then I'm gonna use my food stamps. This is what I love about this notebook, that I'm able to use a lot of my stamps. And so I just grabbed a bunch of food breakfast stamps, and I'm gonna stamp good morning comfort food. These are from two different stamp sets from the paper person shop. A lot of the stamps I'm using are probably not available anymore, but as always, I will link whatever I find down in the description box for you. And once I stamp comfort food, I'm going to go through my stickers. Again, this is a great notebook to use up your stickers. So I try to go through them and find whatever I can use to document breakfast and family and things like that. So I found a few from my Everyday Explorer sticker sheets and I'm gonna add those to add some color. And again, adding or using your stickers doesn't add a lot of bulk, but it will add the color you're looking for. I'm going back to my stamp sets and I found an old Feed Your Craft stamp with a plate and utensils. So I'm gonna stamp that. I'm also gonna be stamping Carbs are the way to my heart. Love that stamp. And I thought I would just stamp it in the corner of one of the boxes. That way I'll have space to add my journaling. And I have been using my transparency sticker paper to add my journaling in this notebook. I didn't want to handwrite everything out. I'm not a fan of my handwriting. And so to be able to add my journaling 
and not add a lot of bulk, the transparency sticker paper is the way to go. I stamped Wake Up and some yellow ink to bring in some more yellow to my spread. And I'm just going to add that sticker right underneath my utensils and my plate. And I go through my stickers again and add a coffee cup to my little subtitle. I'm going to grab my journaling and add my journaling in that box. And I believe I'm going to color in a few things just to bring in more color and make everything pop. And then I call my first spread done. As you can see, it was so quick, so easy. I've been able to use uh, or document my photos, use my stamps and my stickers, and even get to color as I go. So it's a win-win for me. I love this notebook and I still want to share with you another spread just because they come together so quickly. I've been able to work on multiple spreads at the same time. Oh, and I'm just going to go ahead and add the date because I do want to remember when this happened or when I documented it. And now we can move on to our second spread. So the second spread, I'm documenting my peaches. So I have a membership here on YouTube, if you're not familiar, and we are doing a peach box, which is a traveling box that goes from one member to the other. And we exchange stamps, embellishments, all that good stuff. It's so much fun. I love seeing everybody's photos as they receive the box. So we just started this. So basically I have three photos, three different members when they received the box and I wanted to document that. And I'll keep doing that throughout the year. Every time some of the members share their box, I'm gonna document it in this notebook. So anyways, I went ahead, stuck down my photos and I'm gonna be stamping peach box with this beautiful peach ink from Studio Calico in one of the boxes. And I believe I go through my stamp sets again and I found a stamp that's all about uh, Happy Mail. So I'm gonna stamp one of those in the blue section. So there's no box there, but it's a perfect spot to add stickers or stamping. So I'm gonna use that space to stamp and I'll probably end up adding some stickers. I also wanna change up where I add my journaling this time around. Uh, just the little changes help change up your spread. So just adding my journaling in a different box and my title in a different box, it makes each spread look slightly different than the other, if that makes sense. Uh, anyways, I'm going through my stickers. I'm trying to find stickers that go with the theme of Happy Mail and to bring in some color to my spread. I remembered that I had an ephemera pack that was peach themed. This was sent to me by one of my amazing members. Thank you so much. I love it and I found a cluster of peaches. So I'm gonna use that to add a little something to my title box. And I think I'm gonna add some numbers to my photos. I thought it would be smart to add one, two, three. That way I can kind of remember who sent the box first, who is the third spot, just something fun to add to my photos. And also again, to track our box. And I think I'm just gonna finish up my spread by stamping a little something right underneath my second photo. There was some space there and I like to fill out all the boxes. So I'm just gonna end up adding a, a stamp right there. And then I believe I color in a few things and call my layout done. So easy, so simple. I'm loving working in this notebook. I can't wait to share more with you guys. And as always, I will be linking everything I use down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.